Well, if your lawn's looking a little brown, things are dry across the state. That is certainly the case as we're running deficit so far for the month of August. So uh, quite a switch from the July we had, of course, that was the third wettest since records have been kept for the Hartford area. Eight tenths of an inch so far, just around a third of an inch of rain recorded to date for the month at Bridgeport. So compared to normal through the 16th day of the month, uh, 1.55 is our uh, deficit for the Hartford area. One and three quarters of an inch is the deficit for Bridgeport. We do have an ample opportunity for some rain as we head through the second half of the week with a bit of a tropical connection. More on that in just a moment. Right now we've got beautiful conditions all across the state, upper 70s to near 80, uh, pretty uniform temperature wise across uh, Connecticut. We do have dew point values in the 50s to low 60s, so uh, a very pleasant uh, category that we're in for now. But as we head through the middle part of the week, getting a little bit muggier tomorrow and into Wednesday, the near oppressive levels of humidity right up near uh, the 70 degree mark as we head Friday and as well through the upcoming weekend. So enjoy the break from the high humidity while we have it. There's our view from Waterbury showing some high clouds filtering the sun a bit. 79, a calm wind in the Brass City looking good as well from Middletown. Looking toward the east over the Connecticut River and our view from New London showing some of those scattered mid and high level clouds as well. 76 with the south wind at nine miles an hour. So while we're dry here in southern New England, we are tracking rain off to our west, steadying heavy at times across Pennsylvania, southward from there. Uh, all part of a slow moving area of low pressure that eventually swings up in our direction with a warm front at the same time. You can see uh, we've got uh, Fred making landfall at 315 this afternoon over the Florida Panhandle. Some of this moisture gets drawn northward that could uh, bring us the potential for some heavier rain as we head into Thursday. So in the meantime, high pressure and control is going to keep the wet weather uh, to our west for the time being. So this evening we'll see some scattered clouds overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning becoming mostly cloudy tomorrow. A dry day, but one that features likely more clouds than sunshine and temperatures overnight tonight a little bit warmer than where we saw them bottom out this morning. We're looking at 60 to 65 for many communities across the state tomorrow. Again, the humidity starts to increase a bit. Dew point values back into the uh, 60s by tomorrow afternoon throughout much of the state. So certainly a tick in the upper direction compared to today and then highs tomorrow. We could see warmest readings across eastern Connecticut where we could see a little bit more in the way of some sunshine. Western Connecticut may struggle to reach the 80 degree mark uh, given the cloud cover. And as we look at our Wednesday, a day that features as well a lot of cloud cover, maybe a late day shower. The chances for rain really go up Wednesday night into the day on Thursday. So on our seven day forecast, upper 70s by Thursday, that humidity will be around through the end of the week. And then as we close out the week and through the upcoming weekend, highs back in the mid 80s, morning lows a couple degrees with, uh, within 70. And we're going to see a chance each afternoon, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for some pop up type showers and storms given the high heat and humidity that we're expecting. Uh, temperatures for the shoreline this weekend mid 80s for both days. Mark, thank you very much.